Welcome back, fellow believers. Draw me and we will run after thee. Thy ointment is as thy name is as ointment pour forth. Lord, your wine is your love to us is sweeter than wine. We love thee with all of our heart. Day 11, losing 20 pounds in 90 days to take care of the temple of the Holy Spirit. How? Run. Twice a day. About 0.8 miles. So total about 1.6 miles. What pace? Very comfortable. You can still talk, you can make videos so that you can run for the rest of your life. You run too hard, you won't be able to do it. And then all your progress will go back because you stop. So the key is to success in life. Whatever you do, you could do it for the rest of your life. Exercise, whatever. Do it for the rest of your life. Nutrition, whole food, plant-based diet. I'm a, I would not say the purer you are, the better. But I, even me, we are just uh, we're near, not we're toward that direction of absolute. Toward it, not absolute yet. With uh, some supplements of herbs, green tea. But anyway, mostly whole food plant-based, five to six glasses of water from the two books, Dr. Gregor's two books, Dr. Gr Michael Gregor, How Not to Die and How Not to Diet. You could check my link in the description to get it. Mentally, what do I do? I write down my goal. I will lose 20 pounds in 90 days. I started on April 20th. On July 20th, 20, I will weigh 166.6 pounds because I was 188.6 on April 20th. Then, after I write it down, I need to broadcast to the whole world. And I've been doing that in the YouTube, putting a video on YouTube. And then, what else? You need to track everything you do. Whatever you track is what you will get. If you don't evaluate it, you won't get it. What you, whatever you pay attention to, whatever you focus on, you will get. Where do I get that from? The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen Covey and The Compound Effect by Daryl Hardy. Those two books in the description, in the description as links. While I'm carrying out all these things, these goals, what do I do? I enjoy the Lord. Enter the veil and go without the camp. Taste heaven's sweetness, thus the earth forsake. If by the highest I am satisfied, how can I of earth's vanities partake? We need to enter the veil. Turn our heart to the Lord. Whenever the heart turns to the Lord, the veil is taken away, and we, with unveiled face, beholding and reflecting as a mirror the glory of the Lord, or being transformed from glory to glory, even as from the Lord Spirit. The Lord bless you out of Zion. Smash the subscribe button, the like button, 
leave a comment and we'll see you in a bit.